hit Fox show Bones, which will air its 100th episode tomorrow night. Take a look. Isn't all the good evidence in the flesh, you know, like uh, the poison and the stab wounds and the bullets? All of the important indicators are written in the bone, if you look carefully. So that's your thing? <laughs> yes, I'm the best in the world. Oh, okay, you're serious. <laughs> he thought I was being humorous. That turns out to be true. But you didn't know that yet. Please welcome Emily Deschanel. I'm a very dorky dancer, so um, why do you say me? that? <laughs> uh, evidence, right there. See, I, I don't believe in any such thing. I think dancing is just a way of expressing yourself, and there's no judging. I, I, I don't like judge. That. Yeah. I like uh, that. So congratulations to the hundred episodes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I can't believe it. I feel like I did a pilot, and then I blinked, and then we've done a hundred episodes. A hundred episodes. Yeah. It really flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. And what did you did y'all celebrate on the set? We did. They kind of gave us a break for an hour while we were shooting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty exciting. And they brought us a cake, and it was a big moment. There were all these press people there and taking pictures. Oh, there's a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And then they had this cake, and then they had a knife for us to cut it, and I start cutting the cake, and it was not a real cake. <laughs> what was I mean, it? it was, some of it was a real cake, but I started cutting into it, and it was really tough, and it was styrofoam. And they, so knew, they didn't they even knew. give us a real cake. Well, that's horrible. <laughs> Did you get a real cake later on? I, well, I, that was not, I'm vegan, uh -huh. like you are. Yes. So I had cupcakes separately, yeah. but that was a real cake for uh -huh. other people. Half of it was a real cake. So they, I don't know how they do this. Yeah. But they have half styrofoam, half real, so, so they could put the hundred on it or it something. Save, it saves money. I guess yeah. <laughs> they're cheap. They're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and you have an episode about hoarding coming up, right? Yes. That's what we're doing right now. It's uh -huh. uh, the uh, season finale. And so you find someone who has, is deceased in a house and, and is piled under things? Yes, yes. Wow. Piled under a collapsed pile of his own hoardings. Uh-huh. Yeah. His, of his own hoardings. Yeah. Uh, that sounds yeah. weird. Yeah. Um, because I guess that can happen. I watch yeah. Do you watch Hoarders on yeah. television? Yeah, and I've been watching a lot more since we've been doing this episode, too. Had you watched it before? A little bit, a little there, bit. There's like Hoarders, and then there's Hoarders Buried, Buried Alive. Alive. That's the new one. Yes, yes, I've watched some of those, Do you all watch that show, Hoarders Buried Alive? It's fascinating. It's, it is fascinating, because these people, it's not like they're not intelligent. It's no. just, it's a, it's a disorder that where they just can't let go of things. You know, I guess everybody has some slight form of it. Do you like a lot of stuff, or do you like hardly anything in your house? No, I'm messy. I'm a messy person, so I have to work really hard at getting rid of That's the beginning of hoarders. That's it. I know. Maybe that's what I'm interested by, because I yeah. feel like I'm just a couple steps away from it. Yeah. Because these people don't think they have a problem either. <laughs> I know. Every time you try to get them to throw something away, it's like, ooh, this nap came, came, came from a restaurant that I once went to, or something, right. you know, like. And I wiped my mouth on it once. Right, yeah. right. Don't want to throw it away. It's very precious to me. I, um, well, maybe we, next time I come on, you should do a segment from my house, and we can find out if I am a hoarder. Well. Surprise, we have a camera there now. Let's, say, no. <laughs> Let's take a look. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm at the hoarder stage, because uh -huh. I try and keep it. Keep yeah. it at bay. But I, I understand the impulse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the impulse, really. But um, And how long have you been vegan? Uh, 17 years. Wow, yeah. 17 years. Yeah, I'm so a veteran. So what, uh, what made you start? Uh, I watched a documentary called Diet for New America. There's right. a book by the same title, right. I'm sure you know. And yep. I watched it in school, of all places. Really? And they showed yeah. that in school? Yeah. Kind of, I went to a progressive school and uh -huh. we watched it, and I became a vegetarian immediately, and with a plan to become vegan, and uh -huh. I did that in the next two years. And wow! Um, so that was even more time ago. I'm not yeah. going to tell you because it's. Yeah. I'll reveal how old I am. Right. <laughs> God knows we don't want to know that. <laughs> I'm really um, old. <laughs> well, it's been it's been two years for me, and it, it really is. A, it's a great healthy thing for for the planet and for everybody. So it's, it, awesome. it's cool to hear that 17 years though. That's really. That's that's bold, yeah. brave of you. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, there's a there's an eye trick that you do that I heard oh. <laughs> that I would like to see, and um, can you do it? Yeah, I can't tell. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. It's you know it's a little talent. All right. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the 100th episode of Bones airs tomorrow at 8 on Fox. We'll be right back. Thanks, Emily. Thank you.